reducing complexity, eliminate some process. This is the main uh, benefit of the STP. Hi, I'm Marco. Today, I want to introduce you to our team in Brazil. For this, I met Bruno Bonetti. Bruno will explain how he serves his customers with the latest STP adhesives. If you're looking for easy and reliable solutions, this episode is for you. So uh, I'm here with uh, Bruno Bonetti from uh, Brazil. You made it all the way to uh, Switzerland. Good, good morning, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. It's a pleasure. So you are uh, in charge of SICA Brazil. Yes. Maybe you can introduce yourself quickly to the audience. Yes, my name is Bruno Bonetti. I'm business manager of SICA Brazil for the industry market. What do you mean by industry markets? This is the industrial activities we play. It includes uh, the transportation business, buses, trucks, agricultural and construction machines, mm -hmm. uh, the appliances and manufacturing, this is a wind power business, home appliance, etc. Uh, general applications. We have also automotive aftermarket business. It's a very important uh, activity for industry in Brazil. Industrial lamination and facade. And so, marine. It's a very important also. So you, you play in many different fields. Yes, I play in different fields. And for this, we have... a. Uh, a strong organization in Brazil to serve different markets and also which requires different technologies. Okay. That's why we have a, a manufacturing site in, in Sao Paulo state, producing materials for construction, industry and automotive business. And we also have a global R&D center with developing solutions for each technologies. And we have a technical department in Brazil in order to, to make trials to the customers and also try to gather, develop new solutions. Uh, besides this, we have uh, our sales organization, which is in charge to be close to the customers and to cover all territory in Brazil. Um, it's been interesting talking to you over the last few days because after COVID, um I think one of the biggest challenges for our customer was the supply chain, right? Yeah, yeah. And I know for a fact that you work very hard in increasing your uh, footprint in Brazil. So maybe you can elaborate a little bit on, on, on that. Yes, yes, definitely supply chain has been uh, challenging during these years after, after the pandemic, for sure. Uh, mainly because the shortage of some raw materials and some technologies, we really depend on Europe and the US, uh, and it, it has been a very challenging times. What sort of technologies do you produce in Brazil uh, to supply into the vehicle manufacturing uh, industry? Uh, actually, after the pandemic, we started to produce uh, all main technologies we deliver to the market in the industrial areas, uh, different segments. We already produced uh, STPs, uh, hot melts, acrylics, epochs, and PU2 components. Okay. Then we have uh, re increased a lot our portfolio with local content mm -hmm. in order to reduce the impact of, of the, to the supply chain, the yeah. global supply chain, and also the currency uh, devaluation we have in our country. Yeah. Over the last few days, we talked a lot about um, bus manufacturing. I know the bus market is quite big in Brazil and you play a very big role there. Um, you touched upon STP, silane terminated um, adhesives. Why are they so popular in Brazil? Because you say you're growing uh, very nicely with this technology in particular. Yes, yes. Definitely starting talking about the bus manufacturers. Uh, this is a very important market for SICA, not uh, only in Brazil, but globally. Uh, and we have built uh, a long-term relationship with the, the, this market, developed to, together technologies to improve the manufacturing process mm -hmm. of this complex uh, segment. 
And going to, to STP, I would say this is a very important technology because we can cover some problems we have in our country. Mm -hmm. Mainly because we specialized labor, we have a lack of specialized labor. Okay. Do with the high turnover we have in the industries. Mm -hmm. And with this technology, we can provide to the market much easier application in sealing bonding uh, in different uh, fields and also uh, for general sealing, buses, mailing, mm -hmm. in some assembly applications uh, with a higher strength material. Uh, as example, we are bonding floor, we are bonding uh, roof, body side panels and other parts in the buses with this technology. So what are the specific uh, benefits of STP over other technologies? I mean, I know that um, STP helps you to reduce complexity during the assembly of, of uh, buses. What is the specific um, feature your customer like about your STP adhesives? Look into the product, to the technology, it's a sealant and adhesive for sealing bonding application with a very good weather resistance. Okay. And the, the, main, the main benefit of this technology is to eliminate a lot of process for surface pretreatment. Mm -hmm. This is the main benefit of this material. So you reduce complexity by eliminating uh, some uh, pre-treatment activation processes, which you would have to do with other technologies. Yes, mainly. yes. Yeah. In many applications, it's not necessary, then okay. we can reduce this. And you talked about cost saving. This is a very important topic because it's not related to price reduction. Yeah. This is the meaning of cost saving, to reducing complexity, eliminate some process, this is the main uh, benefit of the STP. And you're clearly doing good uh, based on, on uh, the response from the Brazilian market, I think. Now, you have covered a little bit of the applications you have in, in bus manufacturing. You talked about roof bonding, side panel bonding, floor bonding, I don't know, um, small, small component bonding. Um, I think one application we have uh, missed so far how about glass bonding? I mean, windshield bonding is a, an integral part of your business, right? Yes, yes. This is also a very important application. Then we believe because the design of the cars and also the dimension of the, the glasses, I mean, in terms of heavy weight and large dimensions, we believe PU is still being the, the most indicated technology for this application. And okay. also for the, the manufacturing process, I mean, uh, with, we have a higher initial strength adhesive, mm -hmm. then we can meet the requirements of the customers in terms of not only the safety, but also in terms of the manufacturing process mm -hmm. to, to speed it. So what you're saying, despite um, the fact that with PUs you would probably need a little bit more of pre-treatment, there are some processing benefits you, you achieve with PUs, and especially what you're saying is the sizes of the windshields uh, and the weight which comes with that is um, requiring our customers to mostly use PUs because PUs are, I think, high strength than uh, compared to uh, STP adhesives, right? Yes, definitely. It's a limitation of our STP technology in terms of high uh, strength. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, I wouldn't say it's not possible to yeah. bond in glass with STP. We need to evaluate a lot of things, the design, the, the process requirement, etc. I think it's actually quite a nice indicator. I mean, um, when we talk about smaller sized glasses, I think that's something um, STP technology uh, can absolutely handle, right? Yeah, yeah. And then the bigger the windshields become, the more heavy they are. Our customers still tend to use high strength PUs with maybe high, high grab capabilities. And then I think uh, one important point is also creeping, right? The yeah. creep resistance of PU, 
which is far better than um, SD, in STPs, correct? Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. Depends of the, the project, the design, the dimension, the weight, etc. But definitely, it's, it's possible, mm -hmm. but you have to be careful. You have to evaluate everything. So when your customers would wor uh, work with you, you said you have technical service who, who do the testing for your customers, make sure that aging performance is right. You have local salespeople in place who can work with your customers, who are local and support your customers. Um, how does it work with your R&D? Um, I believe you, you have lots of R&D projects going on to, pre to develop specific products for the Brazilian market, right? Yes, we have a stronger organization in our R&D. We have a global center in Brazil and we have uh, uh, different labs for each technology. Okay. We're totally equipped in order to develop these new solutions, the new, the, these new projects, products to, to uh, meet the market requirement, the, the new requirements actually. Thank you. So um, I hope we were able to provide you a little bit of uh, insight in, uh, you know, Sica Brazil. I think um, we have a very nice case here demonstrating um, our global capabilities, but at the end regional. I think Sica Brazil plays a very integral part for the region Latin America. So thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for spending uh, the time with us and uh, see you soon again. Yeah, see you. Bye bye. And now I think we go back to the studio. We pride ourselves of having great local teams. I hope you enjoyed the story about Sica Brazil. And if you want to know more, watch our next episodes. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or newsletter when it's about better made with adhesives.